Hi there. We're in the City Skylines Beginners tutorial so that I can show you how some of uh, the flowing found the uh, flowing fountain parks collection um, are being used already. Um, this is the park, uh, one of the parks that has been created from this collection. Some pieces, not all of them, have been used in this one. Uh, one piece was the Flowing Fountain 4R8D. You can see the, how it's blue highlighted here, right there. And another piece is, and it's one of the ones that's used a lot, is the, because it's biggest, uh, Flowing Fountain 12R8D. The numbers at the end uh, in 12R8D mean 12 along the road, 12 tiles along the road, 8 tiles deep. Uh, just as this one is 4 tiles along the road and 8 tiles deep. And that's the same one that we showed you before. See, it's being used all the way around this one. Again, same one with the little J in it. And uh, let's see. Uh, again, 4R8D. See if I, I'm just looking to see if anything else has been used in this one. Uh, the only other thing that's been used is the. Uh, flowing Fountain 8R8D that actually has the fountain in it. I think all the rest of this is, yeah. Okay, so those have been uh, used to create the outer edges of a park, and then paths have been drawn, and, and plants have been dropped in freehand that were in the actual park, um, just as an example, this park over here has the acacia trees in it and the oak trees in it and two, two different kinds of ferns in it. And you'll see all of those out here in the freehand section that's in between. So you can, you can uh, grab those and I believe those are in the collection. Uh, if you go to any one of these parks, from the collection, then uh, the required items, which aren't really required, but they're in that spot, have these other plants in them so that you can go get them. And so uh, we'll just take a quick little stroll through this park to show you what it looks like from ground level. Here we go. There are a few people here walking around in the park. Everybody doesn't stay on Sims or us. Everyone doesn't stay on the paths. They're just there if you want them. The cyclists, when they go through these parks, pretty much stick to uh, the paths. But people and their dogs kind of go everywhere. I love this fountain because it's the only one I have found so far that actually has flowing water, which is why I called these the flowing, flowing fountain parks, because this big fountain that's in them is actually flowing. I'm hoping someday to add more parks as Paradox makes more, park, more fountains that flow. I hope to add more to them. Mr. Maison made uh, the oaks and the acacias in this park. I didn't. And I can't remember who made the ferns. Elias contributed the flowing fountain, which uh, the Paradox gives you, but only if you can reach a certain point in the game. And it gives it to you much larger than that fountain that we just went past. Okay, so just, just to give you an, an idea, this is what it was like to walk through the park the long way. And that's one of the larger ones. Now, I'm going to take you to a game where two other parks have been created with this same collection, the Flowing Fountains collection. 
and um, show you what those look like when there's a smaller part created from it. I'm going to put you on hold and we'll be back in a second in the other game. Okay, we are now in a different game. It is City Skylines Height Map 25 Tile Intermediate Series. And um, in this particular area, we have a college and a metro system so people can get to the college right down here. Now, in between the metro, in between the uh, college and metro and the neighborhood that is just being started out here, uh, a park, another flowing water, flowing fountain park has been created from the same collection. Very few pieces have been used. There's uh, a piece here, which is the 8R1D, eight tiles along the road, one tile deep. As you can see, it's not very deep. Um, I believe that's the only one that's there. That's the metro, and this is the little bikes, bike parks that are not in the collection, but um, you can find those elsewhere or make some. Um, this one is one of the larger uh, fountains. It's not the big one, but it's the 10R8D, 10 on the road, 8 deep, fountain, park section. Uh, this is, again, the 4R8D one, which is um, if I can get this to go off long enough to... Okay, that one then is four tiles along the road, eight tiles deep. Over here, we have again the eight tiles on the road, eight one tile deep, eight R1D section of that collection. And I believe that's all that was used to make this part. That's just a duplicate of it. And then, of course, there are in between this one and this one, there are all of these free hands. Uh, that were made with the same trees that were brought in. And again, if you clicked on one of these parks in the collection and then went down to the items that are in the required list that are not really required, but they're there for you to access, for, for you to easily get to, you will find these trees and ferns that are in the sections that are free-handed in. And as you can see, this makes a beautiful little park. And it's a nice little break between the college and the metro, which are very active, and the residential areas that we don't want to have them being so active. Down in this area here, this is the beginning of the park. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. People that are biking bike down the roads on the bike trails, but those who are walking come right down this path, usually, as this lady's doing. And they go on through here to get to the metro system, which is right up there where she's headed. Okay, so uh, if you just wanted to wander across into the major portion in the center, You'd see the beautiful flowing fountain again, just as before. There will be people in this park as we put more houses around it. It has only just been started, so there are not a lot of people here yet. Just a few. There's a gentleman there sitting down in the, in the park who just came in who obviously came in from the neighborhood. And there's another fellow with his dog over there. So there are some people here. It's it's not a new park, but it's not terribly old either. And there are not a lot of residences around it yet. But as, there, as we get more residences, there will be a lot of people in these parks because they do have gathering spots in them. Okay. Um, enough for this one just shows you how this one was put together there was one other if you don't want to use the flowing fountain um, uh, and you might not want to 
Everybody has their own preferences. You might wind up with a park like this one, which was also made from components, only one or two of the, of the uh, collection. This was made with the 12R8D section, and it's all through this park. You'll see the same one through the whole park here, all the way around the edges. I believe there's only one spot right here, no two, and right here where the 4R8D section is used. All of this in the middle is again freehand, and again, to get the pieces you put in there, you would just go down to your tools and uh, you go down to your tools and go into your paths grab a path and put it in here growing from the paths that are already in the park sections and just adding a bunch more in and then adding the trees in that's all there is to it that's all you have to do to make a nice big park that everybody likes being in this is a little bit older park and it has a few more people in it or it did have when I went to jump down in I'm making a liar out of me now because I'm not seeing anyone maybe I'm not turned in the right direction oh here we go there's a few folks so most of them are tourists at this point just a whole lot of tourists. We have one grandpa over here who actually came from one of the residences. Little old fella. Enjoying himself. And this park has only just recently been created and it already has some people in it. You can see a lot of people passing by outside of it. Um, they haven't quite gotten to the point yet where anyone other than the tourists are flocking to it in great numbers, but this is this is the kind of park you can wind up with. Some, something very nice and very large if you grab the collection and then put your park together this way. I mean, you can just have a whole lot of areas that people can enjoy out here. There's a little grandma who's enjoying the park. Right there. She's running away from me faster than I can catch up with her. There we go. Sit down, grandma, so we can catch up with you, okay? There we go. Take a break. Okay, so this is just, you know, some examples of what you can do with only a few pieces of the parks. So grab the collection and start slapping some of them down in your areas and see what you can create out of them. I think you'll be surprised. Okay, that's it, folks. Just a couple of quick examples. Bye.